Asus unveils the ROG Cross Rex 670 Hero and ROG Cross Rex 670 Extreme. During AMD's Meet the Experts event, Asus revealed more details about its ROG Cross Rex 670 Extreme, a board the company revealed during Computex, but didn't show the rear eye, OF. However, Asus also unveiled the ROG Cross Rex 670 Hero, a board the company hadn't shown off prior to the AMD event. Both boards will feature a pair of US 4 ports, with both ports supporting DisplayPort Out mode. Both boards feature a further two USB-C ports, plus seven plus USB-A ports. The Extreme features 10 Gbps and 2.5 Gbps Ethernet, whereas the Hero gets to make do with 2.5 Gbps Ethernet, although it gains an HDMI output. Both boards have a full set of audio jacks and Wi-Fi 6C support as well as a rear-mounted clear CMOS and BIOS flashback button. Taking a closer look at the Hero board, it has two PKI X16 PKI slots, plus a single, open-ended PKI X1 slot. The board supports four M.2 NVMe slots for SSDs and comes with a PKI 5.0 card for a fifth drive. It also has what appears to be six SATA ports. A front header for a 20 Gbps USB 3.22 by 2 USB C port that also supports up to 60 W USB PD and Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus. The Hero board will be kitted out with an 18 phase power design, with the Extreme getting a 22 phase design, both with a 110 ampere power stage. Asus has moved its audio solution to the ALK 4082 USB based audio codec and at least the Xtreme will have an ESSC S9218 audio codec. Asus is also bringing over the Q release solution for graphics cards to these boards, as well as the Q latch for M.2 SSDs.